Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick video showing something that we found out in our group inspired to modding and it's not find out, it's more like uh, one member of the group pointed to the fact which I personally wasn't aware of and I didn't see that anyone else on the, on the web was <clears throat> aware of that so the thing is that usually when you want to get some power output from Inspire 2, you had to disassemble it all. Or, or, for example, if you want to power up the FPV cam, you had to go to power distribution board, get some wires out, and blah blah blah, or use some external battery. And both are one is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, the battery thing, and another is, uh, I mean. It's just so time consuming. So what uh, Chris Knight in our group pointed out that there is an output uh, under this cover, under this cover here, there is one screw, which I'm just going to unscrew <laughs> very quickly. Then you remove the the cover itself and it's not it's not kind of too complicated you just carefully yep and it cracks but it doesn't break and there is usually some glue down here and then you see there are ports which are busy and then this this port is the one to which Chris was pointing to and it indeed provides unregulated uh, success directly from the batteries. Uh, you have a small Molex uh, plug. I will post uh, the specific name of it. It's what, what was it called? Like some class Molex Pico Clasp, I think it is. I'll check it out. And. Uh, Basically, that's it. You just put this one here. Like, ta-da! And you have power. This we just soldered. It's, it's, it's not... It doesn't have any protection yet. And we'll rewire it. And now if you, for example, put our... Cadine. and this is our version of this uh, DJI air unit holder we have up here is a DC DC converter quiet so you just uh, plug in XT30 here and you can see that it is red so it has power and basically you can now fly FPV I mean, okay, you should put the cover on, but generally speaking, it's like easy as hell. And each pin is rated one amp, and there are two positive and two negatives coming out, so you get like two amps of uh, unregulated power going out from there. If anyone knows why we shouldn't use this port, I would be glad to hear in the comment section. You, yeah, in this description, there is also a link to our group. So join if you have something interesting to contribute and Chris, thanks again. Bye everyone.